Hello scholars, today is Wednesday, it's March 25th, and today's message is please sign up for Class Dojo if you have not. And even for the scholars, you can sign up for a student account and you can send us pictures of your finished work or even a note or anything that you've been doing at home. So please sign up, it's our way to get in contact with you. So let's get going. Today's problem is about corn. Yes, corn. All right, so what's going on with corn today is, is that we're going to think, talk about someone wanting to plant corn into their garden. So today's person is, you thought it's Miss Hildebrand, but it is not. I chose someone that usually likes to plant. And that is Miss Appleby, the first person I thought of who likes to plant, who has a home garden, who talks about doing her home garden in the winter, I mean, in the summertime. So let's get going. All right, so I'm going to read the problem to you just once today because I think we got the drill and I think we know how to use the pause button by now so that you can reread it over to yourself. So today is Miss Hildebrand wants to plant nine rows of corn in her home garden. She puts, she wants to put eight corn plants in each row. How many corn plants does Miss Appleby need? If you need to reread it to yourself right now, you can pause the button, you can press the pause button, and you can reread it. I'm going to move on. So, this is the time where you would probably retell. So if you're not sure of how to do that, you would need to think about what the problem is saying to you. So don't think about copying it word for word. I want you to really look at the problem. I want you to really think about the problem. So the first person I would imagine is Miss Appleby. And then I would imagine her having a really, really big garden or a really, really big backyard in her house. And then I would think about these corn plants, which I showed you what they look like in the slide before. They're pretty tall, and you also learned while we were talking about plants that they need water, sunlight, air, but they also need some space. You can't just plant them right next to each other. They need to be some space. Then now you think about the numbers, going, okay, nine rows. You know what a row is because we sit in rows in school or you sit in rows on the carpet. Now she wants to put eight corn plants in each row. Think about what that means. And how many corn plants does Miss Appleby need? So right now, you're going to listen to the directions before you pause. You're going to try to retell the story and it does not need to be word for word. So we're gonna give it a try as soon as you pause the video. You ready? Go. How'd you do? Did it work? Did you get it? As long as you're doing better than yesterday, you're doing better. Did you retell? If it didn't go quite as well, you can go back a couple minutes again, reread the question, have it covered up again, and try it again. I'm going to go on. So, now we're going to really go in and think about what this problem is telling you step by step. You're going to read the problem. Miss Appleby wants to plant nine rows of corn in her home garden. She wants to put eight corn plants in each row. How many corn plants does Miss Appleby need? You're going to reread it with me. Ready? Miss Appleby wants to plant nine rows of corn in her home garden. She wants to put eight corn plants in each row. How many corn plants does Miss Appleby need? Good job. Now let's keep going. Think of what we know. What is the important information the story is giving you? So let's think about this. First thing they tell you is Miss Appleby wants to plant nine rows of corn. Is that nine corns or nine rows of corn? Then you need to think about this part. She wants to put eight corn plants in each row. Think about the word each. Think about the word row. What is the question asking you to do? You're going to look at those words that I just talked about. Row and each row. Think about how you sit on a carpet in your classroom. How many kids are in each row? How many rows do you have? And now you need to think about what is the question asking you to find? Again, you should probably look for the question mark. 
but it's usually at the end for our problems these days. How many corn plants does Miss Appleby need? Now you're going to do an up and down and you're going to answer a question. If you are ready, here we go. Does Miss Appleby need more or less than nine corn plants? All right, you ready? It's gonna be thumbs up for she needs more than nine plants. Thumbs down for she needs less than nine plants. And again, I'm going to ask you to pause the video in a little bit and then explain to me what you think. So right now, more or less? Ready? Three, two, one. Show me more, show me less. Okay, now why? I'll pull myself in the middle. You can pause the video and tell me why. All right. Now. We're going to go through it so I can explain a couple parts and then you're going to solve the problem. You ready? So we already read the problem. We already read the problem. Now we already thought about all the information we know. We're going to highlight that information again. Miss Appleby wants nine rows of corn. She wants to put eight corn plants in each row. It's asking you think about rows and think about each row. It's asking you to find how many corn plants does Miss Appleby need to buy. Think about if she needed to go buy to the store right now. You only want to make one trip. So this is a row. It goes from side to side. Like if you're on a long carpet, you're sitting in a row. You can also think about rowing a boat. Because when you row a boat, you go across. Now, the next part that you have to think about are columns. Columns go up and down. And columns are also another name for something that's in a building. You notice we have a couple different columns everywhere. Even in the mall, in the hallways, you see a column. In the lunchroom, we have a column right by with where Ms. Mayer sits. That is a column. It goes up and down. Also, what you notice is that the L in column goes up. And down looks like an L. So this is another way you can remember rows and columns. Rows again go side to side, columns go up and down because columns are long. This is just one more example before we hop into our work. So this one says arrays. Arrays are things you put into rows and columns. You can put this into your head and then try to think about what that would look like for your problem. But I wanted to go and really highlight the columns again that go up and down and rows that go side to side. So now you're going to pause this video and you're going to solve this on your own. Remember to think about what the problem wants you to answer. You need to show your work. A number sentence, a word sentence, and we actually don't have something that looks similar to yesterday's, but you will tomorrow. So right now, pause this video and work on it, and then I'll show you how I solve this out. Okay, so this is going to be a drawing way. And this is drawing in groups. So when I first read the problem, I thought about Miss Appleby wanting nine rows of corn. So then I'm going to draw one row. Again, a row goes from side to side, so that's row one. And how many did she want? She wanted nine, so that's one. That's two. Row one, row two, row three, row four, row five. Don't think I'm going to have room to do this all, so I'm going to just go on this side. Row 6. Row 7. Row 8. And row 9. So I put individual boxes there to show me. She wants, eight, she wants to put 8 corn plants in each row. That means in every single row she wants 8. 
So I'm just going to draw 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And there that is. Now I need to count. So that I know that's 8. 8 plus 8 is 16. Where should I put that? Hmm. We will cross this out and go 16. 16. Oh, there we go. Just like we usually do for the arrow way. Plus 8 more. Again, if you're not sure of this, do it on the side. No harm in that. 8 plus 8 is 16, plus 8 more. 8 plus is 14. That's 24. I'm going to do 8 more. 8 and 4 is 12, 2 and 3, 3. So that's 32. We're going to add 8 more. That gets you to a flat 40. We're going to jump from here to here, plus 8, 48, we're going to keep going, plus 8, 16, 56, plus 8, Oh, we just did this, didn't we? 40. Alright, 64. And I have one more. I'm going to move up just a slight bit. 72. So from this one, we got that she would need 72 plants. Alright, our next way would be... by just simply writing it and doing it in like a number form. And that would be if she had nine rows, row one, row two, row three, row four, row five, row six, row seven, row eight, row nine. I just put R's for rows, and I'm just going to put that she wanted 8 in each row. And instead of adding it like we did before, I would do it like this. Adding doubles together, which would make it easier. This would continue on. 2 and 2 is 4, 3 and 3 is 6, plus 8 more would be 8. So much easier with doubles. This is just the same thing that we just did before, but we are just using doubles to Alright, again, the best way, the newest way that we were trying to teach you right before you left was actually how to draw an array, which we just showed you with the columns and the rows. It kind of looks like some type of square or rectangle, and that's what you would want to make it look like. And the first picture that I showed you with the corn, it looked like nice, neat rows. So then I would draw quick line, nice straight lines, exactly nine of them. So that's three. Looks like that. And then I would actually put circles or lines. I'm going to just stick with circles right now because that's the neatest and the easiest. Just making sure we have the rows written. So that's one. 
because in each row she wanted eight. So that's one, two, three, one, two, three. Oh, I ended up drawing lines. Kept thinking about it being corn. Do you notice how I'm going straight down so it looks really even? And I know some of you are going to struggle with that and that's fine. We actually just used ruler, so I think you'll be much better at this now. And I was supposed to do circles, but I ended up doing lines because all I can think of was that it was corn. So in my head, I was drawing little pieces of corn over here. And then now on each line, you should have eight. So there should be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight here. And this actually is called an array. So there should be the same amount on each line. And you can do it again where you do it like this. But what you just did was you created a multiplication problem, which I know a lot of you have been wanting to do, but we just haven't gotten there yet, where this is the column. This is a row. And what you just did was eight plus 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 eight but you can also do one two three four five six seven eight nine nine plus if there's nine here then there should be nine here and if you count it all up there's nine there's eight of eight nines so what you just did was you did nine eight times or you did eight nine times and you all got the same answer of 72. Ta-da! All right, so we watched three different methods of how Ms. Park solved these problems. Now, I wanted to make sure and think about what you did. Does yours look like mine? If it doesn't, tomorrow, can you make sure that you try one of these methods? Do they all look kind of similar? Maybe. I also pointed out some things that we haven't really done yet, like arrays right below me. But we've also done things like doubles, Ooh, that way. Doubles, which we've already done together. Let's go and look at that last part. So now, your number sentence can look many different ways. It can look like the first one where it says nine plus nine plus nine plus nine plus nine plus nine, and that's eight times, and you get 72, which was our answer. And then you can do eight, nine times, which you get 72 as well. Our answer does not change. And you notice that I have multiplication problems right underneath. Addition with the same string of numbers is the same thing as multiplication. Multiplication is repeated addition, which we've talked about yet again. So you can do nine times eight is 72, or eight times nine is 72, which is corresponding with these. Of you did eight, nine times, or you did nine eight times and your answer was all 72. Your word problem or your word sentence is Miss Appleby needs 72 corn plants. All right, thank you scholars. See you tomorrow.